Hey, good afternoon. This is uh, Dr. Robert Goldberg uh, giving an update on clinical infectious diseases. I'm a board certified infectious disease physician. Uh, been working for 28 years. Today we're going to talk about aseptic meningitis. Very common problem that you're going to see in the clinic and in the hospital. Most commonly we see aseptic meningitis versus bacterial meningitis, typical bacterial meningitis. We usually see these things in the summertime. Patients with aseptic meningitis generally present to the emergency room with headache, photophobia, stiff neck, back pain, low-grade fever sometime, a lot of malaise. The spinal tap uh, shows us basically a lower cell count than bacterial meningitis. Usually the cell count's under 500. And there's a right shiftedness to the uh, white cell. So a lot of lymphocytes are monocytes, but primarily lymphocytes. MRI is normal generally. These patients usually don't have delirium and signs of encephalopathy. Uh, I divide these into three groups in terms of the causes. Uh, viral causes, which are most commonly the enteroviruses like Coxsackie virus or Echovirus or Enterovirus. Uh, West Nile virus has become more common here in the Midwest. Uh, herpes simplex virus type 2, not type 1. Type 1 usually is related to encephalitis uh, of the temporal lobe. Other viruses, of course, HIV and CMV you need to be uh, aware of. And then we get into the atypical bacteria. So Lyme's disease, syphilis, rickettsial diseases, um, mycoplasma, fungal diseases, uh, such as histoplasmosis, blastomycosis, coccidiomycosis if you're in the southwest. Uh, tuberculosis can present with a aseptic meningitis picture. And then, of course, the more rare brucella and nocardia. Uh, remember, though, aseptic meningitis can sometimes not be related to infection. Uh, sometimes it's related to the use of NSAIDs, uh, sulfa, Lupus can cause this picture, seizures can cause it, sarcoidosis, and even uh, migraine headaches. We've seen several cases of molar raised meningitis. Um, molar raised meningitis is associated with recurrent meningitis. Usually it's seen in the setting of herpes viruses, such as HSV2. Uh, so get the etiology of the agent, send off the appropriate serologies, uh, spinal fluid analysis, PCR testing. I find that these patients do well with Decadron. I know it's not backed in the literature much, but uh, usually these people have a lot of headaches, uh, terrible pain, and by putting them on IV Decadron, I usually use 6 to 10 milligrams IVQ6 for the first couple of days. They have a remarkable improvement in how they feel. Uh, and then I tend to put them on an oral Decadron taper uh, over 2 to uh, three weeks, depending on the etiology of the aseptic meningitis, but primarily if it's viral. So these are just some pearls for you uh, as you see this uh, problem in the uh, uh, clinic or the hospital. Remember the spinal fluid analysis has a lot of right shiftedness to, us, to it. Protein level uh, slightly elevated. Glucose really not affected that much for, more, for the, the typical viral uh, organisms. Thank you, Dr. Galbraith, signing off.